quickly get people. I'm making sure that I make this a habit from young out. We love unconditionally the divine light of all creation. Gives me the spark to start my creativity. In the beginning of the day. So I say to you, as day break, not good morning. I say to you, good day. Because this is what I want you to have for the rest of the day, if not for the rest of your life. But I want you to know a secret. And this is the secret to life. The strongest power is in you to do what's right. Because I can break it down to you the way divine light of all creation Love unconditionally, the feeling. I want you to look at that coin, the head and the tail of the coin. And then think of another coin with the heads and the tails of that coin. That's the two that started this off. So when you t look at the heads and the tails of the coin, and you look at that coin being your life as a magnet, you cannot make that head and that head touch. You cannot make that tail and that tail touch on that magnet because the same sides will not touch each other because of the power in between the magnet because when you look at the opposite sex they attract each other so when you look at the magnet the head and a tail. This is what the Creator gave me to give to you this day, right here. When you look at the heads and the tail of that magnet, and you see that the head and the head can't touch, the tail and the tail can't touch, it's the power in between of that magnet that is the divine light of all creation that you can't see to do it right but you do know right from wrong because of the way you feel afterwards it's time to sing the right song because you've been given a song to sing too long you have been reading everybody else's story not really knowing who to give the glory from all that is, was, and will be created. There is no such thing as God. That's man bullshit. He made it. He made it up from just what nothing is. For you to fear false evidence appearing real. What's really real is how you feel when you get hurt playing with love. When that Bible said that you're not supposed to say the Creator's name in vain, 
You think about what name could you possibly be calling out in vain and be lying when you're saying it. And that will make that name or that word in vain when you say it. So think about the word God. And then think about in the Bible, it said, don't say the name in vain. When you look how easy a human being can call out that name, because it's nothing but a false idol created for you to fear. So like I said, when you think about calling out that name, it has no power. Because if it had any power, People wouldn't say it so much in this hour because the only word that is the creator that has power is the power of love because love is the only word that you can say. Think about it. Unconditional. It's the only word that you can say. In vain. Because if you tell somebody that loves you, you feel the same. It's wrong because you don't. And you call it out the creator's name. Because that's what it started off from. Everything started off from the love unconditionally. The feeling that the creator has for all of her creations. Yes, I said her, because I'm too busy thinking about that he, God, he, Father God, he, he did this for me, he did that for me. When love unconditionally, the feeling, told me, how dare y'all slap me in the face by saying a he instead of a she. Because you already know, I'm neither man, no woman, black, no white. I am the divine light that shines bright in you. You just have to use your free will and your choices to turn on the light so you can see me inside of you to make you a better you with me. I'm not going to take control of you. I wouldn't be the divine that I am for you to see. I give you the choice to pick me. I'm not going to make you see. You have to choose to open up your heart so you cannot just see me. So you could feel me. Then you will know me. Then you will show me. How much you give me the glory for being in you. I told Mr. Glasses to take on Mr. Glasses simply because I wanted him to see the light. But he couldn't see the light if his light was off and he was listening to everything else that he was taught. How could he ever see the light? Because he ain't thinking right. Because he's not thinking with me. He was thinking with the godly image that was given to him from hell, the devil, you see. Because right would be me and wrong would be evil. But when you look at me as being right or wrong, just think of me being the only song and right being God and the devil being himself and me, ha, 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 stand alone, second to none, being me, the divine light of all creations. I told John, take the magnet. The head and the tail. You couldn't tell which one is which. But you know one thing. I can tell. A man and a man cannot come together because it don't make nothing. 
together. So it's not supposed to be together. A woman and a woman can't come together because they can't make nothing together. So they're not supposed to be together. That's why you can take that magnet and take whatever force in this world you want to use and you can never make those two magnets touch simply because in between of those two magnets is me, the divine light of all creation, the nothing in between those two magnets that you could never smush but you could see. I love that I showed John me. Because not John could be the strongest John that John could be. Now that he don't believe in no bullshit, John know me. So, Mr. Glasses, you know what I said to you. Yes, I do. You said you want me to take on Mr. Glasses so I can see what you have for me to see. Because everybody is reading somebody else's story and giving the glory to the pages that they see. They're not giving the glory to the creator of all y'all stories. The love unconditionally, the feeling which is me. But I showed it to John and told him to call me Madam, the mom of Adam, because that father God bullshit had to cease. Oh, yeah. I showed him after he gave up on the world, and he just gave his life freely back to me when he came into the light, when he died for the fourth time, because he really wanted to be with me. No belief. He knows now. He know the truth. It is me. Something that you can't see. You can only feel. And that's when your eyes will open up. And you will see. The light that shines bright. In the day. And in the night. For you all. To see. That's why I gave you all. Life and free will with your choices to choose to see and come back to me. So give John his glory for not being able to read all the stories, to be confused like most of y'all are about me. I love y'all unconditionally. I couldn't destroy anything I created. Think about it just like this. Mother Nature, Mother Earth, what do the bees do for the queen? What do the ants do for the queen? What do the man do to the queen? Do you see the reversal? It is what it is when you look at what's wrong. And when you look at it, it's mankind. But it's all because of the man. Man didn't want to hold his job that he was created from Mother Earth to do on land. Man was created from dirt. And man will always be dirty. Man was created from dirt with a job to do. Man was created to be the worker bee for the queen bee. Nothing more, nothing less. To make sure that the queen bee has everything to be here on earth comfortably. The truth is man didn't want to do what man was supposed to do. Man wanted to do what he wanted to do because he realized he had free will to do it. 
I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what nobody think. I know what saved my ass. And it was no bullshit God. It wasn't the repetition of what I was taught. Because I dropped that shit like a bad habit. Because that's exactly what it was. A bad habit putting everything in the word God. Something that I was taught as a kid. And just like the Bible says, as a kid, you see as a kid, you play as a kid. But once you become adult, you have to put all the kid things aside. But you have to go through being a kid first in order for you to really be alive. Look at the confusion in each and every human being that skipped over being a kid. A lot of them not alive. Because they miss the stages of being righteous. Because in order to be righteous, you got to do right. And know that you're doing right and not wrong. To be righteous. I'm just saying. I miss the glasses. I pray. I hold y'all every day in my arms because I can steal a hug from every human being in this world and know I'm not doing nothing wrong because me just touching me, I'm touching every human being in this world for us all to get along because we all come from one divine light of all created, being created, going to be created, will be here after we not here, the divine light of creation, love, unconditionally, the feeling.